I'm Mickey Thump and welcome back to Let's Play Osiris New Dawn. What are we doing today? Well, I kind of want to keep moving down the combat path. Uh, I've got to get some better melee weapons. Sadly, uh, we couldn't unlock the crew, well, we could unlock the crew metal axe, but there's no way to build it. So we've got a choice of going sideways towards machetes, or one thing I know that we can build is a crab scythe, a piercing melee weapon and a shard blade. So let's go down this tree, because we know for sure that we can unlock these. Um, tack knives are in the game. I've no idea where you make them though. Probably in the fabricator, I would expect something like that. Proper end game stuff. But crab sides, shard blades, we can make right now. So let's try a tip that Sean Hurley gave me. Uh, some kind of power bomb maneuver that we can do, like that. Oh Jesus, that was powerful. So hover, press space. Jesus Christ, that worked a treat. That was way better than I was anticipating. Did that give me any combat XP though? It didn't. Power bomb! Yeah, no XP for that. So that's a good way to gather meat, but we need to we need to uh, actually do the fighting to get the XP. Oh, cha! Too fast for the camera. Incredible. <laughs> it's pretty fun actually. Ooh. It's like pilot wings. The closer you get to the bullseye, the better the score. <laughs> Got him. Right, anyway, let's leave this stuff behind. Which one of these was uh, metal? That's metal. So let's put the meat in this chest. Ooh, actually, how much food do I have? Uh, I've got a tumbo meat and some bananas. Uh, I'll probably be alright for food for a little bit. Let's just store the uh, all check stuff. Uh, we've got fungus. Yeah, we've got berries as well. Let's carry two batteries and leave two there. Uh, we carry some banana leaves with us, of course. Rubber, we'll drop off. Inflatable dome kit, let's hang on to. Wires in the stash. Uh, Cryptices, we'll hang on to and do those whenever night comes. Meat, meat, solar panels, metal. So we're going to have to go and find something to fight. Um, do I have another... I only have one stone axe. I probably need two. Let's see. Uh, did I make a pipe last time? Did I make anything last time? I can't remember where I left off. Is there a pipe in here? There's no pipe and no stone blade, so let's go back first person. Uh, a bit of steel and some rocks, etc. Uh, magnesium. We're not going to need much. Just a bit of magnesium, a bit of uh, iron, a bit of aluminium. There we are. Let's make 10 steel. Uh, need to make a pipe, which I think is in the primitive workbench. And some rocks to make the axe head. Head. You see, we can make the stone. I think this is the shard blade, uh, like the the blade for the shard blade. Uh, we can make crude metal blades as well. But you see, right here in primitive crafting, uh, shard blades are manufacturable here, and they do only slightly more than the axe actually. But the crab scythe, I, it must be really slow or something like that, because it's incredibly high damage, 16 versus. 9 from the stone axe. So it must be like two handed and really slow as a trade off or something like that. But we'll uh, try and get to it and try it out. Oh, look, another one. This is great. This is a fucking ore check trap over here. Fantastic. Well, I didn't intend for that at all, but that's two ore checks that have wandered in there and given me their lives now. 
Right, anyway, uh, stone axe. We've got the axe head, we've got the pipe. Yep, stone axe head. And pipe. What am I missing? Two masking tape. Spare stone axe. Right, uh, I need red berries, don't I? Uh, I'm going to need some more bandages if I'm going to go and fight basically anything. Uh, red berries, where would I go for red? Those are blue over there, aren't they? Fuck, I might have to go back to Baldur again. See if there's any red berry trees over there. Or I could just chase it all check around. Let's see, I'm actually... Uh, when they run in a straight line, I'm actually keeping pace with those things. Let's give a bit, a bit more speed and a bit more stamina. Uh, Hydration sap. levels are now satisfied. Okay, after the next drink, we're going to have to go uh, go to the sap tree anyway. I'm interested in, in how fast I need to be going to actually catch up with these things. The trouble is, they're very, very dodgy. They go side to side and zigzag a lot. We need to be much faster than this to catch up with them. But... We can attack some of their unsuspecting friends. <laughs> that guy is still freaking out over here. There you go, there's another combat point. Starvation warning. Starvation. Nutritional balance achieved. Now there's sometimes a crab monster over here, and I'm interested if I can actually take on a crab monster with a stone axe by like dodging and weaving and smacking it in the legs. Sometimes there's a crab monster over here, not always. Uh, I don't think he's come out to play today. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's two of them. Now, that makes it a bit trickier, because I've got to keep an eye on two of them as I'm fighting. Uh, let's see if we can just attract the attention of one of them. I'm also going to turn my torch on right now. So, dodge as he charges. Oh, too slow. And we don't need to use that much hover fuel. They actually don't attack from close range. They love to just rear up and dodge the wrong way there. Uh, they love to just rear up and charge at you. Where's my... Why can't I... Ah, damn it. Is it me or has this gotten a lot harder? Maybe it's just because I'm so close to him now. Oh, he was trying to fake me out then. Oh, here he comes. Seek medical Fuck. assistance Sake. immediately. No, too slow. I've got to do it as soon as he starts charging. There we go. That's it. He's charging. Oh, missed. Whatever. I think we've got the rhythm anyway. God damn it. These things are so short, bloody range. There he goes. Dodge. And go for the legs. Can't quite get the shot on him. Seek medical assistance immediately. Look at this fucking axe. It's so short range, it's ridiculous. 
I actually thought he was going to hit me that time. There you go. I'm trying to... Like, the way you fight these, the same as with the pistol, is hack his legs off. Just... Get them to... Well, to be honest, we're surviving a lot longer than I thought we would. Oh, hacks wore out. Bollocks. After the next charge, we'll... Uh... There you go. Check the inventory. Where is it? Fuck. Oh, it's on slot 5. I've actually got it. I did have the foresight to put it on my hotbar. Seek medical assistance God. immediately. How can I? I can run through his legs. That's the problem. I keep expecting to collide with his legs and start hacking. But he just... Vitals are now critical. Oh, criti oh, there goes one of his legs. Vitals are now critical. Okay, fuck this. We gotta go. We gotta go back to, back to base. Uh, I think I'm, I'm working, working that, working out the rhythm there. Getting it sorted. Vitals are now critical. Vitals are now critical. Vitals dropping. Okay, uh, we can actually go out and have another go. He's probably still out there somewhere. See, some of these damaged door checks are still here, so things don't despawn. I must have confused him by being so aggressive and then running away all of a sudden. Um, don't really want to fight him at night time though. What if my torch runs out on me all of a sudden? This is a good time to do some of those cryptoses. Oh, hang on. You're stuck. Stay right there. Oh no, you're not as stuck there. You can get out of that. Damn it. Oh well, we've got one hit on him. Uh, wrong depository. Where are they? Wait, have I s oh, I've still got them. Never mind. Right, let's see what we get here. Da -da -da. Uh, clearly has to go this way. Now, is this down or up uh, on this one? I think this one is down. There you go. That's the reactor pistol again. Um, I guess this one has to be like that. And down and there. And let's see. Well, that one could go either way. Uh, which one is this again? Seems vaguely familiar. Vitals dropping. Oh, shit. Might have just fucked it there. Oh no, there you go. That was what? I thought it was always the same cryptex. For the same recipe, maybe not. Uh, well, whatever. We've got, look at all these points. 35 science points waiting for us to do something with them. Uh, so, we had a bit of a go at the crab. Uh, I think tomorrow... Um, I might have an easier time if I go and hunt some tumbo near the sap tree, because I've got to go and refill the sap jars anyway. Uh, so, we'll go and do that, because tumbo meat is cookable, it's edible. 
we should drop all this fucking metal off as well. I really do need to get down to that, uh, like these two, ASAP. I need something with a bit of a longer blade. I'm hoping it's a longer blade than this thing. Uh, can I? There you go. It's only a little tomahawk, this thing. I'm not even sure. Well, you can grip it with two hands. But that reduces the range to like three inches. Right. If I can find the right bloody bench for it, I'm just going to roast up some more check for the road. Um, you can, yeah, we can also grill tumbo meat. And they're quite easy to hunt. They're very slow. They've got a bit of a temper on them. Not as much as the Colossi, though. I don't think we actually managed to kill that Colossus, so I've no idea what it drops as loot. There's no specific um, grilled Colossus menu. Um, cra uh, like, item here. It could be a breed of Tumbo, perhaps, or just generic alien meat. Uh, still not really safe to go yet. Still the dead of night, really. Just kind of want to get moving, though. Oh, what's the worst that can happen? We can start walking. Maybe we'll get a chance to try out our new axe skills on a gnat or something. That bloody power bomb move, that is insanely powerful. I mean, you've seen how many axe hits it takes to take down an all check. It must be at least five times more powerful. I love the fact that the designers gave you no XP for it. <laughs> They're like, fine, we'll put in this bullshit way for you to take out an all check in two hits, but you're fucked if we're having any XP for it. Ridiculous. Okay, well there are the sap trees. Where's my blue light? It was these trees that the tumbos were hanging around, right? I seem to remember seeing them at least once here before. Well, if not, we're towards Mine Baldur, because it was... The, it was either these trees, or there was, I'm sure there was a little cluster outside Baldur, where there was some... Isn't it all in this area, though? Didn't I, uh, did I put a, a thingy down there? No. Well, okay, I guess that's our other quest then. We've got to go and find Baldur again and stick a, a locator there. Just for pure convenience, because for some reason I can't program a destination into the locator and say, take me there. Oh, that would be so good though, wouldn't it? Not that you really, really need it. But it would be nice to be able. It'd be nice to be able to punch some numbers into this locator, and get a an arrow towards ex, like exactly in that direction. And that said, there aren't really that many places you can walk to in a straight line, are there? There's always cliffs and things in the way that you've got to go around. Honestly, I never expected to actually want to use those path lights, but remembering the correct way to come to these sap trees. Um, the lights have been pretty helpful. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Alright, fuck you. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's here. Uh, too far away. Do I even need to jump to dodge that? If I... Shuffle as soon as he starts charging. No, I can just dodge out of the way. Oh, and there's skellies as well. Right, hold on. Vitals dropping. Okay, well the power bomb doesn't work on crabs. What the fuck were you doing then? 
does a little bit. It does a bit to Skelepods. I really shouldn't be trying it with the crab monster around, though, should I? Fuck it. Let's just go. There's bananas there. We'll come back for those when the heat's died down a bit. Oh, well, this, uh, isn't it red leaves for red berries and vice versa? Might get some bandages here as well. Vitals dropping. Uh, what did I want branches for? I didn't, did I? Right. Your crab monster friend isn't here to protect you now, so we're going to try this power bomb bullshit on you. Not very helpful, although they were a bit, a bit of a way away. Let's try and get into open ground where we can see you coming a bit easier. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I'm not ready yet. Oh damn it, I'm out of hover fuel now as well. Gonna have to do it the old fashioned way till that builds up again. This is interesting actually, this lateral. Always moving sideways. I'm draining quite a lot of oxygen though, I am still sprinting doing this. Skelepods don't like being punched in the bomb any more than all checks do. They've got a relatively wide turning circle, these things. If you go sideways, they actually have a bit of trouble keeping up with you. Oh, you're nearly dead, son. You're still a bit too fast for me, though. Okay, I've got some hover fuel now. Let's try this again. Seek medical assistance now. immediately. It does damage them, but I kind of take a bit of damage as well. Whatever, we've got a skelly sack. Right, do you mind if I collect some berries now? Or are you going to send in to some of your mates to have another go? Right, let's see. Makeshift bandage. Vitals dropping. Makeshift bandage. Vital stabilized. Vital stabilized. Let's make a few more. Hydration levels are now satisfied. To be honest, I was so busy fighting them skellies, I didn't even realise I'd gone into dehydration. But it's not a problem now because we are here at the sap tree. Okay. Uh, I can't see any tumbos now. I wonder if I imagined it. I'm going to collect these uh, bananas while we're here. Just make sure no bananas drop on the ground while we're doing this. There's another one. Uh, right, so, Tumbo, any Tumbo around here? Can't see any. But, uh, since I've just noticed that lake down there, let's go and try and scoop up some water, because I've heard you actually can now. What about you, Buggers? How does the power bomb work on you? Vitals dropping. Not that well, apparently. Ugh. <sighs> 
Well, come on then. Oh, and you brought your friend, of course you have. If we're going to fight, we're going to fight down here where I've got a bit of space to move around. Too far away. The combat points are racking up. Damn it. Thought I could get him get a whack on his face as he went past. No such luck. Seek medical assistance immediately. Oh hang on, what's that? I think we just knocked a chunk of alien meat off him. I think I'm actually I'm, I'm getting hit by this parasite while the I'm dancing around the skelepods. So I can't I can't take three at once. I have to give up on that one. All right, I don't know what happened to those tumbo. Whether they were actually here at all. Let's see if we can get down to the waterfront without attracting the attention of those things again. Alright, this ought to do. Seek medical assistance. Vitals dropping. What the hell? This is ridiculous. I'm underwater and they're still chasing me. They just do not want me to demonstrate Seek medical assistance picking water up in this game. Seek med Vitals dropping. God's fuck off, you things. Fuck off. Just fine. I'm going all the way over here. I don't know what your deal is, but if you want me to do it from the other shore, I'll do it from the other shore. Fuck it, I'll do it from the lake bed. How about that? You. You're dead. Seek medical assistance immediately. If you can time it just right, hit, oh, got both of them. That's nice. If you can time it just right and hit them in the face, it does actually stop them and turn them aside a little bit. Vitals dropping. Right. Uh, where's that empty? Yeah. So, yes, um, picking up water. Uh, how exactly? Do I have to be outside the water looking into the water? Perhaps? Oh yeah, dirty water. All one word. Dirty water. Uh, well, we don't actually want that. We want sap from the trees. So let's go and empty this jar. Just stick that back in its natural habitat. Go and refill this jar. Um, I guess start heading towards Baldur and see if we can find some Tumbo. How many combat points do we need again? I don't think I'm going to get on this session anyway, but it's like, um, 30, yeah, 30. Okay, uh, let's pitch the tent and get the free heal. Then make a move towards the mine. Vitals dropping.
Vital stabilized. Yeah, we are. Right, Baldur. Which way was that again? Minus 8.5, minus 19.3. Well, we're on the right side of the origin, at least, to start off with. Pretty much just this way. Oh, there they are. Tumbo. I just needed to come a bit further along. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually not going to get the combat points this episode. I'm going to wear... Oh, I've been through like an axe and a half. By the time I've finished with this one. I hope the crab scythe's got a bit longer durability. Okay, tumbo hunting. I did take damage from these last time. I'm not quite... Like maybe I just have to stay away from the head. Just keep circling around him. It seems fine. There he goes, melting into the ground. Uh, I actually wore out my axe with the very last blow. Well, we're up to 19 combat points. Um, so, I guess we'll head back to home base. There's not much point heading for Baldur just to drop a beacon there if we don't need anything from there. Uh, we know we can get bananas and red berries around the sap tree. We know we can get blueberries from some of the trees a bit closer to the base camp. So, yeah, uh, I guess we're pretty set. Uh, just got to keep grinding up them combat points to get the, the crab scythe. And in the meantime, work out what we're going to build next at the base, I suppose. We've got plenty of points. Uh, I did say I was going to save up for the barracks in terms of engineering. In terms of science, and uh, still not quite sure yet. But we will see, we will see. Um... Alright, well, basically all I'm going to be doing is running back to home base. Uh, it's probably not going to be very interesting. So, uh, I guess that'll do for another episode of Osiris New Dawn. Uh, that power bomb, pretty good. Although, not great against things that actually want to kill me. Because it does put me directly in harm's way. Um, the stone axe, I mean, we could take on a crab monster with it. It's not outside the realms of possibility. It's just that it is very short range. And the crabs do like to shuffle the legs quite a lot, which is the part you really want to hit on a crab monster. Uh, and yeah, we know where the tumbo are. They're just over the hill a bit from the normal sap tree. So we know where to come to hunt meat if we like need some in a hurry and don't want to rely on chasing down tumbos. Uh, chasing down ore checks. So that'll be it for another episode of Osiris New Dawn. Uh, do hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more gameplay of this game. And I will see you next time. Oh shit in hell. I thought I felt the ground shaking a bit ominously. That's an adult crab monster on my tail. Motherfucker. Starvation warning. Yeah, I'll worry about starvation when we're out of the range of violent death. Oh, you motherfucker. Jesus, I'm so glad that stopped short. I gotta keep running, but I'm nearly out of oxygen. oxygen. Balance has dropped. Yeah. Fuck it. We'll just keep going. It's like right to the edge, like two percent, one percent oxygen. Just gotta keep fucking going. Oxygen levels dangerous. Shut the fuck up, computer. 
Okay, well, we can't drop down to zero or it won't recharge. Still coming. Oxygen balance has dropped. Okay, they've given up pursuit. That's good. Ooh, yeah, that's the danger of dashing over terrain. Anyway, that's a little post-episode coder for you. That's my adventure on the way back to base. See you next time.